Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make jump rings that you can use in your uh, jewelry making projects using uh, the Easy Jump Ring Maker. It comes with uh, four mandrels that's Four, that will make four millimeters, six millimeters, seven and eight millimeter jump rings. So to show you, these are the jump rings that I made. This is just a simple basic chain mail. I don't think you can even call it a chain mail, but just connecting two jump rings. And these are the jump rings that I made from the seven millimeter mandrel. So the other thing that you need is a 20 gauge wire. So we are using artistic wire. I love how they come in pretty colors. Like this is peacock blue, this is the brown, this is the dark blue. I love this rose color and the, it says natural but more like a copper color. So. Um, the first part of this video is how to make jump rings and then we will try and make bracelet with it using the very small paper beads by just connecting, attaching it to the jump ring and, and attaching a clasp to it. So let's just set this aside for now. And this is the easy jump ring maker. So it comes with the instructions as well here on the back but I'm just gonna show you I've tried a few uh, making jump rings with it. It comes with this plastic base that has two holes. This is where your finger will go in and this is where you would screw the mandrels. So this is from the bigger to the smaller one. So, so let's say uh, I was using the seven millimeter mandrel. So what you do is you would just screw it into this, the base, the plastic base, right there. And you would take your wire. I would just um, try to roll it from the spool. I'm not going to cut it right now. Even if this is 20 gauge because um, it is uh, the middle is copper I think. It's soft. It's not hard on your fingers. So what we're going to do is just put, there's a little itty bitty hole here. Actually there are three holes. This is for your finger, this is for the mandrel, and this is where the wire would go in. So put in like about an inch and then just fold it to go against the plastic base to hold it. And then um, wind the wire tightly around the mandrel. And then what I'm going to do is just turn this like this. So you're just going to do that. It's really easy and simple. And if you want to make little jump rings for your clasp, we have the four millimeter millimeter mandrel. So let's say you can of course go on until you will have as many jump rings that you will be using for your bracelet. But just to show you, I'm just going to stop right here. 
I would then um, take my cutter. So now we have a cutter and just cut it. And you can undo it or just cut this from here too. And just slide it off the mandrel. And then what you're gonna do, let me just You just start cutting it. So make sure that this is like right. The end is against the cutter. Like that. And you need a good cutter for this. Unfortunately, this cutter is already overused and abused. So, uh, let's. Okay, so there's your jump ring. And now, the way to open and close it, I'm just going to use this to. Uh, bent nose pliers, but you can use a bent nose and a chain nose. So you have your jump ring, and the way to open it first, you open it like this by pulling it towards you and the other one away from you, and then try to pass it. Uh, like make sure that these two are touching each other and if if it's still not closing up you can kind of do this and make sure that it's closed so that's how you would uh, close and open your jump ring now um, just to make sure that your um, pliers are smooth inside. If not, then the other trick is that you put a masking tape or something like that so that it does not scratch your jump ring, especially the colored wires scratches pretty easily. So again, you open and then And then make sure that the ends need like so. And here's another one. You would do this and close. So if you're connecting the jump ring, just open, connect this, and close. So now that we know how to make the jump rings, I can show you how to make this um, bracelet. So what it is, is just jump rings joined together and before joining the jump rings, you attach the little paper beads onto the jump ring.